Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Soling the Ark. I'm Flinger Foo, and today we're doing a cave. That's right. I decided that I want to get in and I want to start doing, uh, getting some artifacts where we can at least display some around the base because I think they look cool. Now, we've already got one around here somewhere. I have to find it. Uh, it's the first one we've done. Um, it's somewhere mixed in with all this mess. Um, I love my organizational tactics. They're amazing. Um... Yeah, and, uh, yeah, we've got an artifact in here somewhere. Ah, there we go. Hey, nailed it. All right, so, uh, for the artifact, we, for the bases, we need, uh, artifact pedestal. Just 80 obsidian. That's totally easy. And, but it has to get made in the smithy, which means we're totally gonna have to go get, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have got to go get... We got attacked by Dillo earlier. That's why all the dinos are out here. All right, let's grab uh, Super Dodo. Go up, get a whole bunch of obsidian, and the basilisks are all sticking their tails out of the water. See what happens, Dillo? Jeez. All right, need to set up like a turret system or something. All right. I uh, wish I could get Velanosaurus right now. That would be great. Um, but yeah. Um, I think we're going to go do the second cave. Now, there's a couple different caves uh, that you can do. There's, uh, They're all in varying levels of difficulty. The one we've already done so far is like the brand, is the, like the very first cave you'd ever want to try. That's the first one. I believe that's the cave of the hunter. The next one we're going to be doing is, well, we could either do the chitin cave or we could do the underwater, well, we could do the, uh, um, the one where you have to go underwater, or you can uh, grapple the artifact area with a crossbow, or you can just jump up with the Baryonyx. I mean, you could do both. I plan on showing how to do all three different tactics tactics on how to uh, get the get the artifact because it, it's actually really really easy to get the artifact out of this one. The, whole, the hardest part is getting there and then knowing how to get there is really it. But for right now, we're going to be going and getting a bunch of obsidian, loading it up on Super Dodo, and then coming back and crafting a bunch of artifact bases because I think they look cool when they're uh, distributed around because they look really, really awesome. I love my mining laser. This thing is so great. There is so much metal with it. Ah. The, oh, there you are. All right. Still a little bit encumbered, but not too bad. And mining laser doesn't do anything for obsidian, I've noticed. But it does a lot of good for metal. All right, so let's see. Um, there's that, that, that. Uh, structures. Nailed it. Go with five of those. All right. All right, so let's see. We've got... That looks pretty good. All right, and then we just take that, pop that in there. Yeah, all right. We got our first artifact displayed. Let's go get a second one. Oh, hold on. We need to go get a cryopod. And then also, I've already got uh, my hide armor. Let's see, where did I put cryopod? There we are. There's just one. All right, nailed it. Going over like this. Oh. Stupid pillows. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to put everything in here on passive. Oh, Gertie, not you too. Oh, come on. All right, all right, all right. This is what happens when the Dillo attacks. All right, fine, fine. Hey, at least you're doing great, Seth. Let's pop you inside of a little cryo orb. And let's go for a ride. Duck down below the Gertie face. And hop on Super Dodo. And I think we're good. All right, we can actually craft a bed and everything um, when we're over there. Now, uh, here, let me show you. All right, so let me pop that open so I can use my mouse. All right. Oh, Bob Noglin, why? Why? Bob Noglin, no, okay, there we go. Okay, so, uh, if we turn to the side, 
All right, now there's a couple different uh, um, caves. One of them, we've already done the one that's way down here. Now there's another one that's right up here, and I think that's the one we're going to today. There's also another one right up on, see this little hill right here? It's right about there, and that's where that one's at. Um, there's, a, there's quite a few more. There's another one that's over right here in the frozen biome. There's an, actually, no, it's right over here in the fro frozen biome. And then there's another one that's, I want to say, right about here? Oh, no, 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 it's up here. Right around here. And that's the Cave of the Strong. We're nowhere near ready for that one. There's also a cave over here on Carno Island. Yeah, and then there's also a uh, another one that's right down here, uh, right off from Herbivore Island. This right here, this is the Lava Cave. That one's very dangerous. Um, if you, uh, decide to go fast. That right there rewards you going slow. And I, I mean that literally. Like, not sprinting. Um, let's see. And then... There's a couple underwater caves. One underwater cave is right about here. And then the other underwater cave is right about here, I believe. So, yeah. There's... A, maybe right about here. But yeah, um, there's a bunch of caves all over the island. I intend on doing all of them because they're really fun and I like getting the artifacts and stuff from them. All right, so let's head out and let's go over to the first or the second one. All right, now this one should be right down here. Let me show you the exact location. We're going to build a little caving shack. Yeah, right here it is. Right next to the stego. Just look for the stego and you can't miss it. And it is right there. All right, we're going to build... The, uh, Stego, I need you for a bed. Sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry. Stab me, please. Thank you. Alright, so I, there's some hide. And what I mean by little caving shack is... Take a small structure, put a bed and a storage box in it. Oh, we need fiber, huh? Oh, and the hide. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Foundation. One of those. And it doesn't have to be a big shack. It can be a small shack. Four walls. Actually, no, 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 no. I only need three walls. Door. Oh, missing stone. Fine. I will beat up this stone just for you. Alright, that's enough beating up of the stone. I need wood. Okay. Alright, and then now how we do this, just right out here. Just like that, and that's the shack. Now all we need is uh, to put a bed in there and a storage box, and we're good. Uh, we don't need stone or that anymore. And we don't need the flint. Alright. Let's see. So we need fiber. And we need storage. There we go. Nailed it. I love it when a plan comes together. And the storage box is just to hold extra artifacts. That's it. 
and a little bit of it's hanging out the top. But we're not going to talk about the, um, that, all right? Because that's um, one of the things it likes to do. Alright, see, and let's just pop Super Dodo. Oh, hello! Where'd you come from? Apparently he's freaking out. Alright, well, we'll just pop him on top of this then. Actually, we'll leave you on neutral. All right, and then uh, going inside the cave, just grab some fiber. If you're gonna use uh, um, hide armor or if you're gonna use cloth armor, just grab fiber. That's all you really need. Um, I normally would not recommend coming in here with flak or anything like that because it's just gonna get destroyed. You're gonna have to need a huge, a whole bunch of different uh, sets. I forgot. Oh no, I brought my torch. Ha 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 ha! Yeah. I have torch. You know what, Bob Noglin? You're gonna have to go out, all right? You're in my way. All right, so now we just pop on the inside of here. And then in this cave right here, there's a little trick to finding your path. Follow the green path. See, just like this. And then there's more green over here. And it takes you right down. And the reason why I use uh, Baryonyx in this is because Baryonyx fit. That's kind of like the clincher. Um, raptors also fit in here. Direwolves also fit in here. But uh, Direwolves and Raptors, the only downside with using them is that uh, they're smaller than a Baryonyx. Uh, so it lowers your hitbox. And, uh-oh. It lowers your hitbox, where when the Arthoplura attack... They have an easier time of hitting your character. Don't give me rabies, don't give me rabies, don't give me rabies. Oh, that was a 135 Arthoplura. Hey, good job, Foo! really need to get a bread berry onyx bread berry onyx do so much damage and all this meat uh none of this is gonna matter i'll take some of this hide but uh you know i'll take this and this Bam. all right so now we're just working our way down in here hi mr snake and then when you see aggro just let him come to you try to get like Behind a little corner here. To where the Arthroplora can't freely snipe you. Oh, hey, Mr. Wall Snake. How you doing? But yeah, when you get down to the bottom, you'll get a lot of fish meat. Which will, uh, is, you'll be working on your food all the way down on a Baryonyx. And then as soon as you get the fish meat... Your health will, like, skyrocket because uh, they'll eat all that fish and they'll heal up. It's really cool. I'm on. And if you get... Rabies, turn around and run. Try to make it to the entrance before you die. It's one of the best ways. Alright, this snake is doing the jig. Now we turn around and we keep following the green path. Hello! Get him, Foo! Alright. I'm just trying to keep up on my inventory as we're doing this. Come on. 
Make you onic. Nobody likes you. Just saying. All right, now this spot right here is the reason why you bring um, something that's smaller or has a thin profile because it won't be able to fit through this little section right here. Now, if with cryopods, it kind of changes it up a little bit because you can bring things down here, but... Oh, and also, this, this part right here is the only spot that uh, will throw you for a loop because there's green right here, but then you go in here and there's nothing in here other than snakes and onyx. But this is like this is like the only false path in this area. Oh no 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 no! Probably shouldn't have come in, <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, this right here is a false path. This side right here. But if you go this way, and then just take this first right. We really need to work on your weight. Alright, nailed it. Go down here. And then down there, that's the way we're going. And there's also uh, XP. Lots of XP. Alright, let's see. Give you a little bit more health. I think you're gonna need it. Okay, this is the right way. All right, second false path. All right. Yeah, I knew that one was leading me astray. Not gonna eat any of this meat anyway. All right, there we go. And there we can already see the uh, artifact bits. Here we go. And then there's like an a runes under here, which is wicked cool. I love this. Oh, and another reason for bringing a baryonyx instead of a raptor and uh, direwolves is because uh, sarcos. Sarcos are in here. And they're not nice. They don't like you. I'm gonna go around the other side. It's just easier. Right, down this way. And look at this. Isn't that awesome? And then there's snakes in the water. And there's Onik over there. Bucket snake. Now you're taking a, a swim. Come on. Thank you. How many Sarkos are in there? There we go! Just back up so they can't death roll me off. Wow, that's a lot of Sarkos. Wow, that was a lot of Sarkos, guys. Jeez. Any more Sarkos in there? Okay. And there's a ton of piranha in here. An absolute butt ton of piranha. And then this right here, it works its way around. You can go up there, and that's where that runes were. Alright, so let's get our feet wet. And this water is cold, but there we go. There we go, there's some fish meat. I needed the heal. Now watch. Health is just gonna start skyrocketing.
Come on. Rana! Come get your dinner. I'm just holding off on going into the waters as much as possible because the, the torch goes out. It's the calm before the storm. There we go. Get out there for a minute. All right. The health is not going up as fast. All right. Well, let's just feed some. All right. Okay, all healed up, and uh, also this is a great spot to just sit, you know, with your uh, feet dangled in the water because every once in a while Prana will come running up and they'll just beach themselves right here. It's really cool to watch. All right, so let's get down here. Uh, we're going to have more Prana come in. Now, if we go to the left, this isn't the way to get to the artifact, but there's loot down over here, and this leads to, leads to the blue room. Here we go, and there's going to be Sarkos here. Oh, and I don't want to get blindsided by this. There is the Sarko. All right, let's get over here on the edge. There we go. Now, I want to fight the Sarkos up here on land, just in case. And sometimes there's loot in here, which is why I brought you guys back. Not always, but sometimes. Look at all these piranha. Come on. You got a stray one biting your butt. Come on. There we go. Got that little butt biter. All right, so now that we've got most of this... Oh, hold on. Got another butt biter. And another one. Wow, you guys are just coming out of the woodwork. And one more. And a couple more. Just a few. All right. Okay, there we go. Oh, let's dump some of this stuff. Seriously? Get him, foo. And that spin attack, it really works wonders on those guys. All right, so let's get down here. And sorry it's so dark. Come up here. Where's the edge? Oh, there we go. Right, so let him come up on the shore. Later, dudes. All right. So now that we've got that, now we come over here, and this little lip, right up here. You just jump right up this. It takes a little bit. Right up there. Comes right up like this, and it leads you right to the artifact. Now, also, here, hold on, let me hop off here really quick. Now, also, if you're using a grappling hook, you can shoot for right up inside of here. It's really small target, but you can totally shoot right up inside of here. And I'll uh, show you where to shoot down below. And then you can run up in here. Oh, God, there's Onik up in here. Yeah, ah, Onik! Ah! All right, I jump. All 
All right, there we go. Now there also can be Darko's down in this. So clear it up before you jump off. There's the artifact of the pack. All right, now let's go back the other way and let's do it the long road. Okay, but uh, hold on. If you're down like this, all right, and you're shooting up there, all right, you can barely, barely see it. All right, let's see this. Take this. You aim right up there. And you just fly right inside of that little hole. And it works out really, really well. All right, so now going inside this last little bit, we are going to Gamma. There's not many times I like to Gamma, but Gamma is kind of necessary in here because we're underwater most of the time. Now, you follow this this green little bit down in here, and just know that you're going to be fighting for air. So you want to kind of move fast. Go. Now, I'm not even going to fight anything in here. I'm just going to go. up like this, and there's air pockets in here as well. Alright, here we go. Make sure we have our air, and there's a Sarko down behind us, so we're gonna go. I just followed the green all the way through. Pay no attention to the piranhas on the runway. There we go. Back through here. Oh, Onik. And we're only about halfway through now. Oh, that's a 150 error now. Okay. I drop all that out. All right, now, when you come up this way, you're going to want to just keep running, but just realize this is where the green goes. It's right there to the right. It, it's kind of hidden. Here, let me show you that one again. This one right here, you can get lost if you uh, don't pay attention to this. And I think they did that for a reason. It's, oh, hello. And I, I'm pretty sure they did that for a reason because this right here, it's it, it's another false path. And that right there, if you go that way, you're going to get lost. I like that. All right, so down through here. Come all the way down. Through here. Ask the Sarko. And here's the artifact spot. And that's how you get there. Just follow the green when you're in the water. And then just pay very, very close attention to that uh, false passage or the one that's just trying to mislead you and then we just jump down and we're back up here at the runes it's pretty cool i like this cave this cave is really well designed i dig it and i mean that is just beautiful right there here yeah, hold on you know let's get a thumbnail here there we go Maybe one without the bushes. Alright, now we just go back up the way we came. Right here. 
right up through here. And some of the stuff may have respawned. I'm not certain. Out up on the little lip there. Right up through here. That's such a cool view. Up around this way. Oh, Super Dodo's getting hit. Apparently Super Dodo's been a little bit busy out here. All right. All right, so now we have the artifact of the pack. And above all, we also have a little bit of fish meat to feed to our otter. And that was the important part right there. There we go. Yeah, you like the fish meat. All right, so let's pack up and let's go back uh, back to base. All right, let's see. Let's come back here. They tell you to stop following me. Oh, yeah, I did. Run there, turn that on, get some fish burning. And then now... Nailed it. Alright, and we have that one artifact up there, so let's put another one on the opposite side, right up here. I think this could look pretty dang good. Nailed it! Alright, so hey, that's how you get the, uh... This artifact, the uh, artifact of the pack. I already forgot what it was. <laughs> it's the artifact of the pack. But yeah. All right. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the cave adventure. I love uh, doing caves. They're great. Especially uh, ones like that one. That one right there was just so well designed. I like it. All right. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Fligger Foo. And take it easy, everybody.